Hello, hello everybody, Hatsalanta here, and welcome back to the Ultimate Chaos Mod Total War Warhammer Campaign. This is part four. So we managed to cross the Sea of Claws into Nordland and started attacking their settlements. I do believe I had just, yep, I had just attacked Salzenmund and plonked myself down. We have got 22 population surplus. So I do think I am going to get the Dragon Ogres. Gonna get them underway. Eight population surplus. So I'm also wanting to reduce upkeep. So I'm gonna save up for the Mound of Blades and go from there. I do realize that we need to give 60,000 to unlock Unholy Communion. To unlock the Maxim Horde Building Legion of the End Times which is going to take a little while to get comfortably because it'll cost 10k to upgrade and it costs 60k to get the technology so we need about 70k banked up at least never mind the fact that we've got minus 2k income as chaos is uh, quite common to do so yeah we're, we're just healing up a little bit we're building a new building and we'll finish off Salzenmund in a second and go from there. It looks like Nordland are running out of there. Blood sacrifice. Ah, so income from building, sacking, and post battle loot is minus 50%, which isn't amazing. But can't really do much about that. So I'm going to hit Salzenmund, finish it off with an auto, because I don't really need to do anything else about that. Big Reaper's getting damaged heavier than I would have hoped, but not too bad. A little bit of loot, ranked up to 20 for Kolek, and we're going to raise it to the ground. Warrior Born, melee attack and melee defense plus 10, awful amulet. Damage resistance, ooh. Rank 20, two skill points. Okay. Okay. Deadly Onslaught gives me charge bonus and armor piercing damage. That could be quite good. I'm going to tick up Scarred Veteran to get uh, Kolekas strong as possible. I might also try and upgrade melee defense as well. No difference between hard to hit and blade shield. Plus nine. Nine, yeah, it's exactly the same. So yeah, just go on there. Cool. That's the colic at the moment. 121 melee attack, 65 melee defense, weapon strength of 671, which is a bonus versus large. And armor piercing. Hmm. Obviously, Colic being massive has got a better chance of hitting other massive things with his massive hammer. Colic's massive. Alright, right, I'm gonna end the turn. Other can I? I can. I can end camp. No. I fully expect Alric to resettle Dear to Shaffin because that is our last settlement. Yep. He had no choice, really. Can't blame him. Kislev, they are attacking my friends. Grayling want peace treaty. I'm gonna ignore. But now, on strength rank two, who's strength rank one? I might ask. Jacket horn tribe destroyed. Okay. Ah, I have not met Strength Rank 1, which could be the Dwarves or some Greenskin factions would be top rank there. Yep. Alright. Yes. So let's hit Dieter Schaffen. Poor oh, chap. You are not long for this world. Of course, we have a decisive victory, gain a lot more loot than I would have expected. 
not quite another rank. And we're just going to raise it to the ground because it's already been plundered by us. Alric Holdorf, dead. Nordland, dead. Ah, I have some agents that I forgot about, I remember now. Get them across. Good, good, good. Right. Pluck myself down again. Population surplus of 11. So, I could get the lightning grounds, get a dragon over shag off. I might leave that for now and think what is our next move. Ah, yes, I did. I just want to save up for Mounder Blades. It's going to take a little bit longer. I am thinking it might be a good idea to hit Middenheim rather than heading east along the coast and into Kislev. I think I probably should just keep keep on the onslaught in the centre, focus on Brass Keep and Middenheim. I'll have a gander, see what uh, Middenland have in the way of armies. I want some sort of challenge now. We've been easily dispatching with the uh, Norsken tribes. We've even easily dispatched with Nordland. They weren't capable of holding us back with what units they had. So yeah. A little bit of a challenge. Raid the following region, Karaburg. Well, I think that's a little bit too close to Aldorf for my liking. Washington doesn't say raid Middenheim. That would be great. Just, ooh. I Hello, refuse. Boris. You may refuse, but I'm coming anyway. in my agents. We'll be able to see actually what Norden's got. Balmir the Ironclad. Very good. I'll deploy him there because why not? Rel Void Spawn. She's going to be my scout in the Central Empire lands. Oh, so it's holding up in Middenheim. He probably knows I'm coming. That's fair. Oh. I will not obey. Hello, second army. Might try and entice them towards me. If we can. I'm also going to be starting to think about making a second army, either this part or the next part. I think it's certainly worth doing. Midland have sent their second army away. They could have attacked me. Scaling destroyed. Aisling and Kislev have declared war. Hmm. Oh. Hello, Red Horn Tribe. Empire at Hergig. Middenheim, what have you got? Yeah. Not amazing. I'm going to sit here for a little bit. Oh, no, no, I'm going to, I'm going to move yes. into their lands a little bit. The Annoy them because I'm going to give them even more chaos corruption. If you want me to move, then come out of your hidey hole and fight me like a man, Boris. Or are you too chicken to face the end times as you know it? Rank gained, juicy. Oh, three skill points. How oh, nice. Um, so, bang, bang, up melee defense. I might actually, yeah, boost missile resistance. Now I've got magic resistance of 55, a ward save of 30%, a missile resistance of 10%. We're pretty good. Billions. Immune to snow, mountain, chaos territory. Fear, terror. Oh, I'm going to have a look at his armor and stuff, see if we can get him any better stuff. Between scales, armor, and melee defense, and a hex in the area for the enemy. I'm going to keep that because that's a hex. Sword of Strife, armor piercing. And I'll keep Sword of Strife, talisman, magic resistance. 
What's 22 damage resistance? Is that just general, not just magic? Physical resistance? I'm going to get the Opal Amulet on. Right, so I've got Beast Tamer. Which I could swap out. Norse Berserker for captives. Yep. Banner of Rage. Yep. Dark Soul. Yep. Scarecrow Banner, Standard of Discipline. So. Ooh. Yep. Do that. Enchanted Item. Potion of Full Hardiness. Nah. I'll keep the other Trickster's Shard because that gives a hex in the enemy. Em 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 uh, a hex in the area around the enemy. A minus 20% damage resistance. Good. Quite well kitted out then. Mound of Blades has been completed. So I might just pay, get the Reliquary of Chaos, reducing the upkeep even more. I might just need to siege Middenheim. They're not, they're not coming out. They're hidey hole. I can't entice them. I think I'd be able to if you were allowed to go into ambush stands, but you cannot. It's quite irritating. But, yep, I have little choice now. I should be fully healed. Yep. The fates have Siege Middenheim, Boris and Ludwig are holding the door against the chaos. So I don't need a battering ram, but I could do with some towers. Quick save just in case we have a clash, which is very doubtful. Not gonna fight. Continue the siege. Now this is where the second army could join us. Try and attack me. Which I am more than happy to happen. More than happy. Although I could assassinate him, which would be pretty funny. But now I'll Keep on, keep on. Just need to keep an eye on nobody settles Jess Schaffen and Salzamund. Alright, he's got to come now. Trying to stop me. Or maybe not. Maybe he's gonna run away like a scared little child. What could you possibly offer me, mewling sworn? I am ever chosen. I certainly am ever chosen. They want a peace treaty. No. Sorry. I know I raised you up from the dirt, but I have little choice. Ah, technology research, taming of the beasts. Very good. Send it to hell, missing issues. Raise or sack Talabheim. Well, that's great. Oh, I've got nine turns. Okay, that's enough time, perhaps. Middenheim. Right now, what to do, what to do. Hmm. Could start going down some nurgly favours, but that's just Oh, is that stuff that I can do or is it mutually exclusive? Hmm. Interesting. But anyway. I should probably Head down the demonic pact and harness mutated beasts. And then we can think about getting everything else that we can at the moment without paying any favour to the dark gods. I'll build two more towers. Come on, Midland. You know you want to attack me. better than getting attrition to death, which is going to happen, because I've absolutely smashed my technology and abilities. Oh, there we go. Yeah, they've already been attritioned. Oh, that's annoying, because I would want to fight a nice battle on Middenheim. Not that it's going to be that's a corner siege. Well, I don't see much point now. 90% balance of power at least. Oh no, I lost the chaos spawn. Uh oh. But 5k loot gained. Weird. Why would my chaos spawn get lost? Oh well. Sack it for 20k. Yeah. Forward unto slaughter. 
fine with me. Okay, so I'm missing a unit now. Which I could bring in. Some Plague Bearers of Nurgle, Forsaken Giant. I think a Forsaken Giant might be good, although he's very slow, isn't he? Very slow. Well, the Plague Bearers are even slower. Chaos Giant is the same. Dragon Ogres, 60. Chaos Feral Manticore. Now, this is something where I might upgrade my building to get a Shagoth and have a Shagoth as my second. I oh, know, I'm, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get a Forsaken Giant, you know? Oh, what's the difference? It has Frenzy and exactly the same. Oh, I can only build one, but it's gonna be three turns, damn. I'll give me a chance to replenish a little bit. And think on what to do next with our army. Absolutely not. Ralph might head back into Middenheim. So, yes. Oh, yes, that Keyslith army. It's uh, going right into the waste there. I mean, that's what he wants to do. That's what he wants to do, isn't it? Another Chaos War Shrine while I'm here, because I've got to wait two turns more. And actually, you know what? I'm going to recruit a lord. Kailas Doomborn. Tamar. Kailas again, but just a Chaos Sorcerer Lord of Metal. Chaos Lord of Zinch. Blind. I'm going to get Kailas Doomborn. The Chaos Lord of Corn. Can he not run away? I'm going to get attrition now. Oh dear. Rivalry of the Dark Gods. Okay, so I can only have corn units or else bad things will happen. Root Marcher. I'm going to upgrade all his tribes of chaos and make him a better blade master. Okay, so I'll send Kailas Doomborn into the forest. Real Void Spawn. Champion of Slanesh. Favoured. I'll send you down to see what is going on in the south. Do they keep trying to kill Iber, or are they just stood there? Hmm. In the turn, unfortunately, getting attrition because I can't send my lord out. Unfortunately. Assault unit success. Yes, right. Run away. Yes, it is so. You know what, I'm gonna build some mounted cultists first. Chaos War Shrine. Rolek, one turn for the Forsaken Giant. Good, good. So yeah, I'm gonna send Kailas into relative safety to build an army. Because I think we've got enough money and regions to sack and raise and pillage to be able to sustain a second army. So I will do that. Oh. Eye closes. The eye of the gods is closed, or so your sorcerers tell you. Maybe it is for the best. A time to grow improper. A grow in power, unfettered by the gods' demands. Or perhaps a more grandiose glorifying act is needed to open the eye once more. Witness me. No need for affirmation. I feel like I need to hold on to my favour at the moment. Hopefully they don't see that as a slight. You have my favour. Forward, onto 
Cool. Upgrade the tribal gathering. Build some cultists. I should have the giant. Yep. Giant is ready. It's Middenheim. Might just quickly fight this one. For the sake of fighting it. I want to see the uh, Forsaken Giant in action, to be honest. Give it a go. Magnus von Wolfen defending Middenheim. Second siege against the forces of chaos. Brave men trying to hold against the horde. But unfortunately, we need skulls for the skull throne and blood for the blood god. There is no if, but, so why. We are taking it and we will enjoy taking it for all eternity. All right, get Kolek and the Giant. Um, hello. Hello. You, uh, I didn't think you looked like that. Okay. Oh, he's Forsaken, so it literally is a Forsaken, but huge for some reason with a giant mother fucking axe. Oh my God, that's brilliant. Anyway, anyway. Just do, do what you do, do what you do well. Actually, I don't know if my cannons can actually survive this. Might have to just, hmm. Okay. We serve the gods. We serve the gods. They're not actually covering that tower, so... Hire the plague cannons! Bring it down! Well, that is how fast he can go. He is just... Walking along. He does not care. Being attacked by men. He's got a gate to smash. Glory to be won. Dragon Ogres and Kolek knocking at their door. The Forsaken Giant just about getting there too. Oh, they don't hurt each other. That would be unfortunate. Kolek is not letting up. Might send Dragon Ogres out. So they can both deal with it. Well, he doesn't seem to be making any noise. Oh well. Right. My men are at the walls. Cool. Sure they can deal with the gate. The gate is open. Smash them. Such an holy resilience. Bye bye. You send your balloons. Nobody's coming to help you now. Holy crap. Oh, mince meat. Oh, oh. You, sir, are most welcome in my army. Most welcome. I did forget about my Nurgle calf, though. Oh, no, 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 that's bad. I've been hit, getting hit for a while now, I think. Knights of Nurgle. Okay. Well, you do you. Tremble, mortal. 
Yeah, not much left for the uh, Midland forces here. Charge! He does not care, that Forsaken Giant. He gives no shits whatsoever. I don't need to rally. Good Lord of the Storm. A center line, though. Nice. I did a fair amount of damage, actually. Hit after those crossbowmen. Send the rest of our army into the enemy. So the cavalry can come in as well. Oh, it's not actually firing anymore because it's my tower. Oh well. They're not going to last very long. The Nogal warriors are coming. Shields raised against the missile fire. Go, go, go. Attack. Swarm them. Kill them all. Bye bye. And here we are, victory. Obvious victory. Just wanted to see some of our units in action. Loss is 58. I bet the auto resolve would have made us lost like zero. But you now auto resolve has always been a finicky thing. Forsaken Giant actually pulling his weight there. Doing very well for us. Very well indeed. A decisive victory, lovely little bit of loot. And I'm going to raise it to the ground. Look stone to the breach. Destroyer. Cool. Sit ourselves down at the ruins of Middenheim. Kailas Doomborn, you, sir, can probably afford to get some of these spare retainers that we have, because I think we have a fair amount of them. Weapon. Oh, piercing damage, Tormentor's Sword. Talisman. Physical Resistance, Enchanted Item. Terrifying Mask of E. Do I already cause? Nope. There we go. Said I said it in the very start. We don't need to have the Terrifying Mask of E on Colette because he already has it. We'll give it to our next Lord. Kyrlas Doomborn. He will certainly do well. There's already... Facing up to be a pretty good lord. Does he not get any mounts? Doesn't look like he does. That's unfortunate. I would have liked to see him on a Chaos Dragon. But one cannot ask for everything, can we? So yeah. We could hit her gig Wolfenberg Brass Keep, or we could head towards Weissmund. There's a Sigma army here, Volgar Roxburger. Berger. Probably going to run away now that he's seen that we've destroyed Middenheim. Oh, there's a Midland army there. Looks like it. Oh, okay. Looks like they're trying to colonize and trying to chase my second army. I refuse. So, I can send Kailas Doom on. A little bit further away. As far as one can go. 
while still being able Let's to be plonk this. ourselves down. Good. Recruit a couple more units. But also I can upgrade Chaos Cult Headquarters. Get a few more units. I'm going to send yes, good. Kolek down to Salzenmund. If you want to colonise it, mate, feel free. Or if you want to attack me, feel free. I'll be more than happy to oblige. There's no way they can reach me. Oh, there is a way they can reach me. But oh, they're on Force March. They, they can't attack me. They can reach me on Force March, but they can't attack me. Oh, hello, Franzi boy. What are you doing? Ha ha ha, run away. Be the bite of chaos. Water zinch. Hmm. Chaos Cult Headquarters, Kailas Doomborn. Means I can get some followers of Slaughter. Can't say no to that. But maybe I will send my pathetic army to have some fun in uh, Norska while my main army has fun in the Empire Lands. Perhaps. I might sit in between Salzmund and Middenheim, and if someone tries to colonize them, I will come down upon them like a bag of bricks. There's no way uh, Kailas Doomborn can get an office yet, and Franz is heading to Aldorf. Gotta keep an eye on things. I have the gods. Income from all horde buildings plus 15%. Juicy. Carrot Kern and the Empire at War. Ooh. Pesky dwarves. Always frustrating. Ooh. We're almost fully healed. But it's mainly keeping people away from colonizing. Which is our main concern at the moment. Get some cultists with pole arms because it can be helpful to have some anti-cavalry units. Oh? Are they really doing that? Are they really going to colonize across into Norska? I mean, fair. Fair. I don't know if Almir's there, he's, it looks like he's gone round to try and hit Salzamund. Can upgrade the Warband of Chaos. I'll do that and I'll leave two units. Oh no, I won't. I won't. I'll... do that and then I'll get rid of the cultists mounted in favour of Fallen Knights of Chaos because they are so much better. Kazrak. Join war against Grayling for money. No, Kazrak, no. Why would I do that? Oh, hello. Where are you going? Grayling want a peace treaty. I assume Mirsling are going to finish you off. Send it to hell. Mission failed. Rank gained for Iber. I am a god. Actually. Pay respect to me. Block army. Ready. I move when fate becomes. I wonder why Valmia's or where Valmia's going. Oh, hello, Bretonia. Lewin Lwenger. So it can't hit me this turn. Might have to slightly run away then. 
Just slightly. I concur. He's trying to colonize. Try and head Kolek oh, yes. as far as he can go without causing attrition. Hey, if you want to come come over, like feel free. Feel free. I'll be more than happy to give you a lesson. Ah, the free colonized Middenheim. Of course they would. As soon as I leave, of course they would. Not surprising. Tempest incarnate. There's a Bretonian army. You want a settlement? You're gonna have to come further than that, Lewin. Do you take me for a churl? I do take you for a churl. Churl. One more turn. And that stat can at least do some damage. Or I get it upgraded to have some corn units. Does mean, however, I'm very unlikely to swap Kolek over from a Nurgle champion. Leave my army alone, Agent of Doom. Okay, to assassinate. Red Horns destroyed. Where's Lewin gone? I don't know. Where has he gone? He must have run away. Oh, that's a shame. I was looking forward to meeting him. In battle. Oh, there they are. I will not blight my soul. All right, and the ten. Probably won't bother cutting out a little bit of a doge bark there. Quite common. Obviously, any extended periods of disruption, I will always edit out anyway. But I'll probably be finishing up shortly anyway, so yes, assault unit's failure. Send Kolek in to the area where he's going to be useful. Hit Middenheim with Kailas Doomborn. I'm going to need to build a battling ram. Unfortunately, he doesn't have Siege Attacker. But we will do that. Get him some lovely, lovely population. They might actually attack because that's a less effective Chaos army. I mean, it's eh, it's not horrible, but it's pretty peasanty. Like uh, Lewin, Lewin's got no decent army units apart from men at arms. Does he have any cavalry? Doubtful. I'd love them to double team me. Oh, thank you. Um, I so think we can get a decent battle out of this. But I highly doubt that one. Yep, they're running away. Of course they are. Of course they are. I wish ambush was a thing for chaos. Oh well. One by one. Slowly. And gently. Rivals plot. Hello, lady. Oh, hey, 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 hey. They were in ambush. So, yes. We have a lovely Bretonian battle to fight, which is going to have to be a next time. Because there's not enough time in this episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed. Please leave a like and a comment down below. It really helps out. But obviously, you don't have to. And dislike if you want either. 
it's up to you. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more from this series. Also running a CK2 Game of Thrones export that I'm playing with Hart and Jackie Fish. Also running a Stellaris Star Trek mod campaign as well as the Romulans. So quite some diverse content on my YouTube channel. On Twitch, streaming a little bit of Darkest Dungeon lately actually. Warhammer head to head with Hef and obviously the CK2 Game of Thrones streams with Lionheart and Jackie. And also I'm going to put a link in the comments down below for the Discord server that I have currently set up, which is going to be our community hub, where I'm going to talk about the channel and just in general, just chat. So join it, please, or not. Whatever. Alright, I've been Hagsanta as always. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.